Welcome. I'm your host for the evening. True horror comes in many shapes, sizes, colors, and situations. Allow me to share with you tonight a journey down the darkest corridors of poetic expression. Settle in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nightfall Radio Show. A wicked dance begins. A swaying pendulum of the damned. There's no life, only the animated sinews of mortality. How is it between two dead things that such passions are stirred? It was among the ruins of Ashurbanipal that I first encountered the things that were originally loosed upon the world nearly 6,000 years ago. These were the first of their kind to set foot upon our world. They were powerful, wicked, insane things that shuddered themselves away during the hours of sunlight. These elder vampires had been buried here with inscribed rituals on how they might be resurrected to resume their diabolical existence. At this, I began the process of thwarting such efforts. Through my contacts with local officials, I arranged to have the opening to the tomb obscured and permanently sealed. But before all of that, I took certain steps to ensure that these things would never rise again. Certain steps that I know so very well. First, a scream. Then the sound of ripping, tearing the dreadful tone of splatter, then that most awful wretched music, individual notes of blood dripping. Dearest Sister Agatha, I need a little more. I don't want to seem greedy. I'm just so very thirsty. Just a few more drops of your blood before sunrise. Eyes in the night see through total darkness. See through mystery, fear, and shadow. See the murder beneath black clouds and delicious splatter on the cold, silent ground. See the things crawl through nothing. Wings, claws, fur, many times fangs, now and then scales, but always, always death beneath the moon. I tracked it to a bluff overlooking the village, or else it tracked me. It did not last long at all. It screamed a murderous howl, lunged, and I fired. <laughs> Only a moment later, a man lay dead among the stones. I watched the thing thrash and rave, its eyes now gone white. It opened its hideous mouth, impossibly wide and out flew scores of flies. Below his dark castle, the Baron sought to practice his wicked art. He drank his fill and slung her body to the wolves. The Gigashu haunts the rooftops of the old part of the city. Do not be deceived by its pathetic appearance. Sunken eyes, withered frame, piteous squawk. It is an always evil. A killer and a render of flesh and sinew. Preferring the entrails of children and youthful women of the lower reaches of town. Shall I seek this thing out? I must. I welcome the charge of this devilish mission. 
I cherished the moment in which I dragged the wretched carcass of the foul thing out of the darkness and out of existence. Across a field from the swamp was an old cemetery dating back to the Civil War. The silence of the tomb was broken by nondescript rustling. The air here was cool. The sweat accumulated on the brows of the intruders from the hot summer air outside diminished. Their flashlights clicked on and broke the lightless interior of the abandoned crypt. The beams of light captured a flash of movement and the sound of a quick rush of air startled the two boys. Someone was in there with them. They scrambled and dashed to reach the point at which they had entered. A hulking dark form blocked their exit. It drained both of their bodies of blood. Gorged but unsatisfied, the undead thing ventured out into the night in search of more blood to quench its thirst. And that concludes another excursion into the darkness on the Nightfall Radio Show. Thank you for listening to the program. The Nightfall Radio Show can be heard exclusively on the Blackwater Media YouTube channel. If you enjoy the show, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you would like to submit a short story, poem, or artwork, email your submission along with a brief bio to Nightfall Radio Show at mail.com. I'm your host, Dr. William Lester. I'll see you again at Nightfall. <laughs>